All right, some big news coming in from the state of Karnataka. Explosive twist coming in in the Karnataka bribe gate. Chief of contractors' body now levels some stunning charges and allegations against the BJP, the ruling government in the state. The contractor Manjunath gives proof of bribery as well. Manjunath claims that top BJP MLAs have received bribes. Manjunath says, and I quote, I've paid 90 lakh rupees in cash as bribe. Huge allegations leveled by the top contractor's body. In fact, the chief of the contractor's body right now leveling some stunning charges against the BJP government, the ruling government in the state of Karnataka, accusing some of the top BJP MLAs of taking cash, close to 90 lakh rupees, to pass tenders or issue contracts to these contractors. Contractor Manjunath says, I have full proof of bribery. This is, of course, come as a huge embarrassment to the BJP in a pole-bound state of Karnataka. The BJP government at this point trying to ensure a comeback in the upcoming elections, which is barely about a month or so away, about two months away for Karnataka elections to begin. And at a time like this, huge allegations mounting on the Karnataka BJP and largely on allegations of bribe and commission taken by, allegedly taken by some of the BJP netas. Let me cut across to the chief of the contractor's body leveling these allegations. Listen in. I have constructed the PWD office building at Chitradurga because now uh, we have completed since three years we are waiting for inauguration. After one year now, after uh, I given that, uh, I mean 5% of the total cost of the amount because the total cost of the 2.5%, so I given that uh, 2.5, uh, I mean 5% uh, uh, of the Commission I have given after that he came for inauguration because for the inauguration that CC Patil minister honorable minister has come for the inauguration I have given this time again he started to asking advance for future works All right, I'm going to quickly cut across to Nagar Jindwarkadath who's been joining us uh, Who's joining us live to give us an update on this allegation. How far is it true? Nagarjun the contractors body holds a formal press conference and un announces in full public and media glare accusing the BJP MLAs of taking hard cash of up to 90 lakh rupees as bribe in exchange for contracts given to some of those contractors. How far is this true and will there be so moto case that will be taken up against this top BJP MLA? Who is this MLA? Do we know? Nagarjun. I'm going to try and patch Nagarjun's line there. Nagarjun Dwarkanath, who's been tracking those developments. In fact, at this point, several allegations of corruption shrouding the PJP government in Karnataka. And now in a new twist to the allegations of bribery against the BJP MLAs. Here's the Contractors Association, a top-level body. Um, in fact, the chief of the contractor's body in Karnataka who's held a formal uh, press briefing where he declares that I have paid 90 lakh rupees in cash as bribe to a top BJP MLA. This is the bribe that was taken to issue contracts to, uh, to him or some of the contractors. Clarity on this will be given by Nagarjun Dwarkanath. If we have Nagarjun cutting across to him, tracking those developments for us. Nagarjun, would you be able to tell us what exactly is this story? All right, we've lost Nag Nagarjun's line there. Let me quickly cut across to Manjunath. Once again, the top contractor's body, the chief of the contractor's body, who claims he's paid 90 lakh rupees in cash to a BJP MLA so that his contract could be passed. I have constructed the PWD office building at Chitradurga because now uh, we have completed since three years we are waiting for inauguration. After one year now, after uh, I given that, uh, I mean 5% of the total cost of the amount because the total cost of the 2.5%, so I given that 2.5, uh, 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 I mean 5% uh, uh, of the Commission I have given after that he came for inauguration because for the inauguration that CC Patil minister honorable minister has come for the inauguration I have given this time again he started to asking advance for future works I'm going to cut across to Nagarjun there joining us Nagarjun if you can hear me do elaborate to us what exactly is the contractor's body chief Manjunath alleging 
as he holds a formal press briefing there, accusing the BJP MLA of taking hard cash of 90 lakh rupees as bribe to pass a contract. Well, that is to the State Contractors Association's working president has released an audio allegedly between Chitadurga MLA who belongs to the BJP party. His name is Mr. Tipa Reddy and the conversation between is Manjunath and the MLA himself. Uh, you can hear the MLA say that come clear the business or smoothen the process. You can hear certain words which can be interpreted as uh, taking the bribe or commission is what the uh, association contractor says. They have also gone on record that 90 lakhs has been paid by uh, him alone since 2019 to 2022 as recent Recently, as December 27th, uh, that is just two weeks back, that they have paid 22 lakhs uh, hard cash to the MLA and he's trying to cause more trouble. And there were also signs that were shown that how does the MLA ask money through hand gestures? Uh, for 5%, he would do this, for 10%, he would do with using both hands. So uh, they've gone on record by releasing an audio allegedly between the MLA and themselves. So we'll have to wait and watch what's the uh, defense by the MLA. He might most likely take an injunction or he might say it's a fake audio, but uh, Chitadurga MLA has been put on dock today by a contract association. This is the first evidence that has been released and they're saying more such audio and WhatsApp conversations will be released in Feb mid. They have more conversations around 14 such MLAs across parties and four ministers is what the association claims. Oh, this is huge allegation coming in right ahead of elections. Look at the timing, uh, Nagarjun. We are looking at a pole-bound state of Karnataka where BJP is, of course, uh, upping their campaign uh, as they intend to come back to power. But uh, the allegations of corruption, bribery, etc. have been steadily mounting on them. It's, it's, it's in fact been difficult for the Bombay government to firefight at this point as they've uh, already been slapped with a dubious tag of a 40% Sarkar. Well, that is true. A big task ahead of the elections for the government to come clean. The, the opposition, you know, likely so, will jump the uh, gun and all attack the government on coming clean. They have already termed the uh, government as 40% Sarkar. Every banner of the Congress has been uh, using this term called 40%. Now with the audio being released, they have more ammunition to target the government uh, and especially the person who's in, uh, who's in this controversy right now is MLA Tiparedi. He will have to come clean also if he has any conversation or he can say that this is not my audio or if he can go to the court and get an injunction, that is his uh, freedom. But he has a lot to answer and the BJP in Karnataka will have to defend uh, the undefendable, at least in terms of this audio conversation. And they have also saying there are more evidences against other MLAs also. And as far as December 27th is concerned, 22 lakhs odd has been paid by cash in Chitadugat Town Club, is what the contractor is saying. He has gone on record, he has confessed or deposed before the media that, yes, it has happened since 2019, even during COVID time when we constructed buildings, hospitals, even cut was taken. And the new culture that Tiparedi has started in Chitradurga is advance money, not just uh, cut for the work that is being done but uh, advance uh, commission of bribe needs to be paid even before the work starts that's the new trend that he has set is what the association is claiming now so give us a little clarity here uh, Nagarjun uh, bribe is allegedly taken for passing the contract so unless bribe is paid a contract will not be issued is that what the contractors are claiming and who are these contractors is it what what exactly do they do they do what projects were they uh, did they earn from the government um, you know, to which they paid bribe for. These are the building constructions where they construct government buildings in terms of PW department, health department and others where they are saying that they need to pay a cut uh, during the bill release, so once the tender is given to the contractor, uh, he starts the process of construction of building and the payment is released in blocks uh, or phases. So even for the government to release the bill, a commission is sought or a cut is sought by the local MLA through engineers or directly himself. And now the new trend is that if a tender, even before allocation or the work begins, advance needs to be paid is what they are claiming. So earlier it was a cut of bill uh, release during phases and now the new trend is that even before the construction begins, when the MLA comes for the puja or something, a cut has to be given to him.